Hey everyone, Rebecca here. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel. If you're new, welcome, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. Okay, so today we're going to be reviewing the fragrance Mortal Skin by Stefan Humbert Lucas. And here it is in the box right here. So let's unbox it and check it out. Okay, guys, so beautiful box as you can see. So let's open it up and see what it's all about. And there it is. And I'm just gonna take the bottle out. All right guys, so there it is. Beautiful. So just a little bit of background about this fragrance. It is a woody oriental and it was launched in 2015. As well, it is a fragrance for both men and women. All right guys, first impressions of this fragrance. Well, it opens up with a stunning dark ink and blackberry that is powdery, chalky, and cool. The artemisia in it is mild and woody, while the cardamom gives it some spice. This really dries down into an iris laying on a beautiful bed of myrrh and musk. Now for me, I found this to be a wonderfully dark and mysterious fragrance. It actually has a very smooth aura to it, much like a snake's skin. I also found that this fragrance had a real familiarity to it, while at the same time being unique and different. So, you know, it's kind of like that snake shedding its skin, showing all the different layers. It really does have many different layers to it. And it's really just quite a beautiful and unique composition. Yeah, so for me, I also did find that the blackberry was there from the beginning to the end. It just sort of seemed to linger throughout the whole composition, which was quite nice. And just as a side note, I should mention that the artemisia note in this is actually supposed to represent the snake's poison. So for all of you who really like that concept, this is really something fun to wear. Now, this fragrance is very mysterious, and as well, I did find that it was very introspective, and for that reason, it really seemed to transport me to a place where I was dressed very elegantly, and I was sitting there writing with a ink pen, and maybe, you know, drinking a berry tea. It just kind of had that connection for me with it. But yeah, this fragrance is quite smooth, sleek, introspective, mysterious, elegant, sultry, hypnotic, and it also has a real understated seduction to it, which really just pulls you in. Okay guys, so in terms of the sillage, I would say maybe about two feet. You know, this is one that really sits close to the skin. And in terms of the longevity, I would say between six and 12 hours. And yeah, I would say this is a great scent for somebody who is in their 30s and up. Okay guys, so let's take a look at the bottle. So here it is, and I'm just gonna zoom right in there. And on the front, you can see it says mortal skin. And it's got that snake on the front. And you know, I think the bottle is really a perfect curio. You know, something that you put on your dresser just because it's gorgeous. Um, you know, you have the fragrance, which obviously is quite stunning, but as well, the bottle is really a work of art so yeah so there it is yeah i um i love the gold and black throughout it i think that that really just screams elegance and you know i like that snake on the front as well with the eyes are actually swarovski crystals so it's really quite gorgeous um, but yeah, I feel like that snake, it's, you know, it's kind of summoning you. It's alluring. It's very bewitching. It's, you know, tempting you to see what's in the bottle. So yeah, there it is. 
Okay guys, so let's talk about the notes in this fragrance. So the top notes are ink, blackberry, incense, and lab denim. The middle notes are myrrh, opopanax, cardamom, iris, and artemisia. The base notes are styrax, ambergris, cedar, birch, sandalwood, and musk. So some really neat notes happening in this fragrance. Um, the ink note, really, really neat, very unique, and paired with that berry and the incense, it's just quite stunning. Okay guys, so let's talk about when to wear this fragrance. Well, I would say just because of the fruity notes that this is an ideal scent for the summer and the springtime but more the mild times of those seasons. Um, you know, you can also wear it in the cooler seasons, but it really depends on where you are. As well, I think this is a great scent to wear on a stormy night, and as well, great for the evenings and for very personal encounters. Okay guys, so let's talk about style and accessories. You know, what colors are gonna go well with this fragrance and as well, what kind of outfits would you pair with this? And guys, these are just recommendations. You know, everybody is different and has their own style personality, but I always like to make recommendations and you know, just kind of help in terms of building that fragrance wardrobe, so to speak. Okay, so ideal colors with this fragrance. Well, right off the bat, you know, black and gold. Um, and definitely matching those colors because, you know, it's right there in the fragrance. It's right there in the bottle design. Um, as well, other colors I would say that would go well with this are very muted colors. You know, purples that are muted, reds that are muted, blues. Any of those colors are really going to enhance the presence of this fragrance. Now, in terms of actual style suggestions, I would say for the guys out there, you know, a nice sleek suit, maybe a velvet dinner jacket, just because it has that powdery presence to it. And for the women out there, something very sleek, you know, a very sleek dress or a sleek looking top. So just, yeah. Anything like that is going to really work well with this fragrance. Anyways, guys, that pretty much sums it up. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this review helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can always check out my page at pearlenchantress.com. Thanks, guys.